Gotta make dies so I can identify my storage. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for clicking on this video. My name is in the game Kaya of ITGK Survives, and welcome to ITGK Survives arc day by day. Yeah, I'm making paint. Uh, I need to be able to paint the storage boxes that I built uh, so that I can keep them organized at a, at a glance. Here you can see the results of my work, and I think it turned out pretty good. Kind of a, a quick shot, but I, I don't do the voiceover when I'm recording, so I didn't know how fast that shot was going to be. I spent the morning of day 10 in combat with a variety of uh, sea turtles, just so I could get some, well, hide, but mostly keratin. I needed a lot more keratin. And that's because, I don't know if you guys remember this, because uh, it's been about a month since I uploaded. Um, at the end of the last episode, I lost my Argentavis to some rhinos, so I need to make another Argent saddle for my backup Argent. Even though I'm flying around on a Tranodon right now, I'd prefer it not stay that way. And I got my baby Carbonemus right here. Kill a mother, take the child. It's not creepy at all. Let's take this thing back to base. Eventually. When it's, like, grown up. I decided to go back and make a saddle for Cloud Runner 2.0, which is what this backup bird is called. Just don't tell it that the other one's dead. Uh, that's between you and me. So I went out to go and see if I could carry the Carbonemus baby with this thing. And would you look at that? It worked. Awesome. I uh, do need to make some cryopods. I guess they added that in an update that I missed. Uh, Maybe it's always been there, but I'm pretty sure they weren't there when the game came out. So, yeah, there's cryopods in the game now, and I have no idea how long they've been there. But we'll just pretend like uh, everybody knows. So, yeah, uh, gotta make some cryopods. I gotta tame myself better Argents, honestly. The ones that I tamed were just kind of stopgap things, and one of them is dead now. So, yeah, I need more Argents. Preferably ones that make eggs. Apart from breeding Argents, I also wanted to kind of industrialize the base a little bit. Definitely finish walling in the ground floor if I could. Um, make the cryopods, like I said, and get back into that cave. Uh, I want to see if I can run that cave before I have, like, you know, full cave running teams and all of that stuff. I'm definitely going to run it more than once, but it's kind of tradition for me to do it on foot. So that should be coming up later. I took an opportunity to fly away from the base a little bit and get myself some of the more advanced resources, including things like crystal, uh, penguins. Where did they move the penguins to? Harvested some oil on the old iceberg, but no penguins. Found the penguins. I, I knew they still existed. I just had to go and find them. Yeah, here they are, on the uh, North Shore. Not nearly as populous as they used to be. Might have to tame myself some later, but this will do for now. Need that poly. Ladies and gentlemen, I can assure you, nothing bad happened to the penguin between the last shot and this one. This one was dead from natural causes. I also doubled back and got some silica pearls before I went back home. This water is always strangely warm as opposed to the air right above it. Just keep that in mind if you're ever freezing to death. Got home and unloaded my supplies including putting the OP in the beaver because it won't let me put it in the preserving bin or the refrigerator. Well I don't have a refrigerator yet but yeah I had to find a place to store it and I'm not trying to kill my beaver or nothing but you know it's better than leaving it in my bird in case my bird dies again. I don't want to think about that. After getting some metal going, decided to grind up some mats so I could continue working on the base. And I'll tell you what, even with those storage boxes, it's still a lot of grinding for materials. Um, and I'm not even playing on default rates. I should really stop complaining about my rates. I'm the one that makes them. And kill more turtles because I need the CP. I, I can't find beaver dams. I tried, man. They don't exist, I swear. So, this is what I've resorted to. It's the best way to get chitin or keratin at a consistent pace. It's, uh, it's better than nothing, I guess. 
The tricky thing about raids is this is always the part in the game where I start to feel it the worst. Because early game, you don't want it to be too fast. You just blow right through the early game and then there's nothing. By the end game, you're not building bases. You've got all the structures in your base optimized. You can grind resources so much faster. Yes, you need more, but the grinding goes so much easier. You can carry so much more. It's not as much of a problem. Right now, I've got low to mid-tier dinos. I've got primitive tools. I'm not fully leveled. They're not leveled. I don't have the structures I need. This is the absolute worst that resource grinding gets as far as I'm concerned. Um, it's a process. And this is this is honestly my least favorite part of the game, is the, the grinding of the resources so that I can construct this massive base project that I've got going on. This is going to end up being by far the biggest PvE base that I've built. Um, I've built bigger PvP bases, but the PvP servers I play on have vastly higher rates. Like, I, I've played on, like, you know, 25x, 100x rates, servers. The servers that I run. So, yeah, um, this is just, it's a lot of grinding. So I think I'm playing at 4x, 6x rates. I don't remember exactly what it is. Actually, it is 6x. I just went back and double-checked. I think it was 3x, like, early on in the series. And I doubled it for the sake of the content. Just because I knew I was going to hit this wall. And I wanted to try and push through it faster, if I could. Besides, I'm playing on it by myself. And 6x isn't crazy, crazy high. It's a little on the high side, but it's not anything insane. Honestly, 6x isn't even that crazy high. Like, I got a group of friends who still play ASC. And I moved on to ASA, so I don't manage the ASC server anymore. And um, they're running like level 600 dinos, 15, 20x rates. Just absolute crazy stuff going on over there. I guess that's how they want it. I, I, I don't really play ASC anymore. I still have it installed and everything, but I don't really play it very often, so... Hey, if that's how you want to play, like, as long as you're having fun, hey, fine by me. Made some more dye and decided to cut my hair. Apparently you can give yourself a, like, a colored fade, which is kind of interesting. Um, I did eventually settle this all down, and I think I, I added, even added a, a hairstyle mod, because I missed some of the hairstyles that were in ASC. That is one thing I miss, man. Why did they cut them back? Like, I know... You got these options now for like length and, and color and stuff like that, but I, I don't know why, they, if anything, they should have added more options, man, not less. So I added Marnie Mod's hairstyles, and this is what it looked like after the, uh, you know, the editing and everything, and I found the hairstyle that I wanted. It's the same hairstyle that I used back in ASC, and it, it, this just is the way it should be. Got my Viking braids, feeling pretty good. Um, I didn't always use the Viking braids, but I, I kind of like that style, so that's what I'm sticking with. Saved, got off, back at it on day 11, and I didn't realize it, but you can see it there. My hair got reset back to vanilla, so I'm going to have to cut it again. Hopefully I don't have to cut it every time. But yeah, it's uh, day 11, still got so much stuff to do, so let's get... Oh! Well, I didn't take fall damage. Good thing we're right outside the base. So yeah, let's get to it. Here's more footage of me looking for beaver dams. Um, I know they do exist in ASA, but they are not as frequent as they used to be in ASC. I can guarantee that. I made it out to the Hidden Lake, which is really deep now for some reason. And yeah, there it is. They exist. Beaver dams. I knew they existed, so uh, I think this is the first one I've found, if I'm not mistaken. I'm, I really feel like taking this wood, but I just can't afford to carry it right now. And after spending all that time grinding resources, the time has come. No, I did not die to the beavers, but uh, I gotta... <laughs> I gotta uh, put up a lot of walls, and it's a lot of stone and a lot of wood. This is more painful than any beaver bites to the ankles. I will, I absolutely confirm that. <laughs> it's a lot of work to make this base as big as I wanted to make it. But 
you know what? Knowing how it turns out, I think it was worth it. I'll leave that for you guys to decide if you think it's worth it when you see how it comes out. It's really good. Oh, and while I'm working on the base, I'm also on that spark powder slash gunpowder grind so that I can run that cave. It's just uh, a lot of things to manage at once. I also took a moment to put up greenhouse, or at least start putting up greenhouse around my crops, making sure to uh, get the greenhouse boost that I can. At some point, I'm probably going to have to build a bigger greenhouse. I didn't end up with the 300% when this whole thing was done, but... You know, it's at least something. Get that greenhouse boost a little bit. Still helps. So I need those crops for endgame recipes and stuff anyway. If I just go and get a little bit more crystal, I'll be able to finish the greenhouse here and the farm. So that's good. By the way, I'm out looking for Argents again, and every time I'm out, I keep bringing up my map and just glancing at it just to make sure that I'm not anywhere near where I died from those rhinos because uh, they're still on the map and that means that they could kill me again so I need to make sure that that doesn't happen let's hope that that doesn't happen day 12 I made it to the cave and decided to turn on my microphone for the first time in a while so yeah you'll have some live commentary while I run the cave Okay, um, so I'm trying something I have not really uh, tried before. Uh, not that I've never done live commentary before, but switching to live commentary in the middle of the video, so hopefully this goes well. Uh, that's just a rock. There used to be Megalania that would hide right here. Maybe not in the ASA? I don't know. Spiders. Scorpion. They're on the right.
Raum. How do you... There we go. Pass the snakes, lure them away, double back, grab my stuff. So, um, I, uh, was running out of supplies, I had to turn around and come back home, but, uh, I'm not done with that cave, I am going back in, just gotta restock, I'll be right back at it. Oh, 
Sorry about the audio issues with that cave run. There's only so much I can do. Um, I came out of the cave to find that my mount had fallen through the mesh and was now stuck underneath the ground. Which ultimately left me with only one thing to do because I didn't lose it, technically, so I need to get it out. I was having trouble getting on it, so I ended up having to use a cryopod. And then, um, I did decide to walk home, so I did not just cheat fly my way home or anything. And that's because you can't just deploy cryopods. I didn't know that they had made that change. You can't deploy cryopods unless you're within range of a cryo fridge. So now I need to go not just make cryopods, I need to also make myself a cryo fridge. So I'm going to cheat myself in a cryo fridge, not just a cryopod. Yeah, I cheated in that cryopod. I'm going to cheat in a cryo fridge, and then I'm going to go make them and, and dispose of the ones that I make so that the uh, ones that I cheated in are technically legit. Just so that I can, you know, save my bird, which I didn't deserve to lose. It fell through the mesh. This game, man. Fix your game. So now we have cryopods, a cryo fridge, and... Put this on the outside of my base. Boom. One artifact. Uh, you know, only eight more to go. And the hard ones at that. This, this one, honestly, if you know what you're doing, you can run it in your underwear. Run that cave in your underwear. So, still, you got to run those other caves at some point. Not today. So as day 12 comes to a close, I put the last piece on this foundational layer of the tower. It's going to end up being, I think, three stories. So yeah, this is the first story. It's, uh, it's going to be tall. Um, I think that's <laughs> enough for one video. Um, I do have more footage recorded uh, than this, but I think uh, this has already gone on long enough. and. Uh, there's a lot of tower building to come up, so that'll be nice to put all in one episode together. Hopefully I get that next episode done sometime kind of soon. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as uh, I head out to, you know, put stuff in the yard and, and make sure they're grinding up resources. If you guys like this, uh, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel so you stay up to date with any videos that I post. And uh, I, I do want to try and be more regular than once a month. Um, I'm working on it. Uh, it's just a hobby. I've been really busy. But, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next video.